Hi, um, I'm Maria Scallop. I'm her twin. We actually thought the same question, so I had to re-coordinate that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I was gonna, the biggest problem I face whenever I like, on social media when I retweet things like, I retweeted a picture and it said the young people will win and it was like an art piece and it was like Black Lives Matter and LGBT rights and everything. And I experience a lot of people saying, I'm too young, I don't know what I'm talking about and basically I'm ignorant and I'm sensitive. And I was just wondering how you guys overcome that and basically show that you do know what you're talking about and that this really is an issue that affects all of us as teenagers and young adults. Well, uh, I just want to say with that, uh, like the story I was telling with Salt Lake City, uh, even though I was semi-surrounded, there were only about maybe five middle-aged white guys trying to look me down the eye. Uh, when it comes to online, uh, they, they hide behind that wall of anonymity. <laughs> and, 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 yes, words. Uh, they, they hide behind that screen. They know that you, you will probably never meet them. You, they know that you can't really speak to them eye to eye. And you, you just have to realize that when they are being that hateful, what, like, do they really have anything better to do? Do they really have anything that is worth their time other than harassing you of all people? Like, it, it's really just knowing, like, if you believe in something, if you wanna fight for something, and people are just being insulting towards you, like, that is not something that you should have to value in your life. Yeah, don't waste your time on them. And it's just about, like, you have, like, how old are you right now? 17. 17. You, at 17, have more access to educational tools than any other time in our life, in the world's history of any 17-year-old ever, right? You have access to all of human knowledge at, like, the tips of your fingers because you can access these from smartphones and the internet and whatever. My brother said in his speech at the march, he held up his phone and he's like, we have this, this is all we need. Like, you can be the smartest person in any of these conversations, and when you bring something positive, like fighting for LGBTQ plus rights, and someone comes at you calling you ignorant, I think they're the ones showing their true colors, they're projecting, <laughs> like that's what it is. And so it's just about constantly educating yourself and trust but verify and search for the truth with a capital T because if that's what you're fighting for and they come at you, then they're going to be wrong forever. <laughs>